when Nancy Pelosi said there was a cover up and you say what what was he covering up specifically? And I don't know that well, I've heard an answer to that. It doesn't matter for the left because this is all a political narrative that has been contrived by Hillary Clinton and the DNC that they paid for the Russia collusion narrative via the dossier. And they've been pushing this to try to delegitimize de President Trump. There doesn't have to be a crime for them to continue this narrative. We saw that with Democrats saying there was collusion when there was never collusion to begin with, as told by Robert Mueller. But after watching the press conference yesterday, I don't know how to say it otherwise besides the fact that Robert Mueller is a hack. And we know that he's a hack because he gave Democrats exactly what they wanted, was more fuel to the fire of impu impeachment, because we have Jerry Nadler saying yesterday that they got everything they needed from Robert Mueller. They don't need to subpoena him. They don't want him to come testify before Congress anymore because they got what they needed. And also, think about it this way. Robert Mueller well, gave more deference to the Russians yesterday than he did to President Trump because he said he wasn't going to talk about the Russian defendants uh, that regarding behind the hacking because he said that they're presumed innocent until proven do, do you guilty think, and he wasn't going to talk about them, yet he didn't give President Trump the same deference. Do you agree that, I mean, after all that investigation and that whole report and 440 pages and how he's conducted himself, you think Robert Mueller's a hack? I don't know that he's a hack. Not a hack, but some of the Democrats yesterday, simply because he put voice to the words in the Mueller report, acted like he was the second coming of Jesus Christ, quite frankly. And I thought it was evidence that they never read the Mueller report in the first place. He didn't offer any new evidence in that statement. If you read the Mueller report, he was reading it. Essentially, he didn't say anything that was new, but all of a sudden, many of these Democrats are like, oh, impeachment. I will add this, and I'll just quote from the Wall Street Journal editorial. If you read the Mueller report, which I did, Mueller's analysis of the obstruction evidence in his own report makes clear that no investigation was instructed, not the FBI's counterintelligence probe, not his own. No witnesses were interfered with. Mr. Mueller was allowed over two years to issue about 500 search and seizure warrants and interview anybody he wanted to, including anyone in the White House. The only person he didn't interview in person was president himself who answered questions but how is he not a hack what was the point of yesterday's press conference other than to uh, flame, fan the flames why how uh, I'd, li I'd like to answer okay, that I, I think quite frankly you know this guy puts out 400 plus page report which i've also read and i agree with you dagan and you and i really agree that he was putting words, uh, voice to the words that were on paper. The difference is you. what the American people, over 400 what the word, American over, people over 400 heard, pages that Lisa, what the, the American public. people heard is yeah. Attorney General okay. Barr saying something different. And I think what he was saying is, look, let me clarify. Let's this is what I wrote in. in my report. Yeah. This is what I've said. And by the way, I'm stepping down. And, and I don't feel that Democrats Goodbye said, oh, now luck. we can impeach. <laughs> impeach. They've been talking. The Democrats in my party have been let talking about impeachment for months.